Hello, everyone. My name is Hao Xin Sun from Fuda University, and it's my honor to present our recent work to you. Our paper, titled Efficient Computation for the Diagonal of Forest Matrix While Variance Reduced Forest Sampling, is a joint effort between myself and Professor Zhong Zhi Zhang. Let's begin with some background information to set the context for our research. At the heart of our research is the forest matrix, a critical concept in network science with close ties to spanning rooted forests in graphs. We denote this matrix by omega, which equals the inverse of the matrix I plus L. Here, L represents the Laplacian matrix of a graph. The diagonal entries of this matrix play an important role in a wide array of applications, including network centrality, machine learning, and multi-agent systems. Our paper focuses on the problem of efficiently estimating the diagonal elements of the forest matrix in directed graphs. Specifically, we aim to derive an estimation where the relative error does not exceed a small predefined threshold with high probability. The goal is to develop an algorithm that can achieve this in linear time with ON time complexity. Unlike existing methods, which are mainly limited to undirected graphs and struggle with larger networks, our paper presents three sampling-based algorithms. These algorithms are applicable to both undirected graphs and directed graphs and incorporate innovative variance reduction techniques. Furthermore, while current methods often have, often have high time complexity, our algorithms demonstrate remarkable efficiency and scalability, handling graphs with over 20 million nodes effectively. We first briefly introduce the concepts of rooted converging tree and spanning converging forests. Rooted converging tree is a weak connected graph where one node called the root node has an odd degree of zero and all other nodes have an odd degree of 1. Spanning converging forest is a spanning subgraph whose weakly connected components are, weakly, are, are rooted spanning trees. As illustrated in the diagrams, the graph on the left is a simple example with 5 nodes and 8 edges. The graph on the right side represents one possible spanning converging forest derived from the left graph with root nodes marked in blue. Our first algorithm, LCF, is based on the probability interpretation of the diagonal elements of forest matrix. Specifically, the ith diagonal element represents the probability that node i is the root where a spanning converging forest is sampled uniformly. To accomplish this, we will adapt Wilson's algorithm, which is traditionally used for generating uniform spanning trees. Our version modifies it to work efficiently with directed graphs, allowing it to generate a uniform sample spanning converging forest. This process involves several steps. First, we construct an augmented digraph G prime by adding a new node X. Then, for each node I in the original graph, we add a new edge I X to the augmented graph G prime. Next, we use Wilson's algorithm to generate a rooted spanning tree in the augmented graph G, G prime, with X setting as the root node. After constructing the rooted spanning tree, we delete the new node X and all edges connected to it. The remaining structure is our spanning converging forest. To illustrate this with an example, consider the toy graph shown on the left side of, of this slide with five nodes and several edges. By adding the new node X and the necessary edges, we create the augmented graph. The middle diagram shows the rooted spanning tree rooted at X, generated using Wilson's algorithm. Finally, by remo removing X and its associated edges, we obtain the spanning converging forest shown on the right. This slide presents the pseudocode for our sampling algorithm SCF. The process involves sampling L spanning converging forests 
and tracking the probability of each node becoming the root. The algorithm is designed to run efficiently with a time complexity of OLN, making it suitable for very large networks. However, as sampling algorithms inherently introduces variance, a key question arises. Can we reduce this variance to decrease the number of samples needed? Next, I will introduce techniques that help in reducing this variance. Our approach is inspired by the Friedkin Johnson model, that is the FG model. It is a very common framework for opinion evolution of formation. In this model, opinions of agents reach equilibrium after several interactions. The forest matrix plays a crucial role in the FG model, where the diagonal elements can be seen as the stabilized opinions of agents under certain conditions. By integrating the interrogative techniques from the FG model with four sampling methods, we have developed estimators with reduced variance. We have developed two other algorithms, SCFV and SCFV+, both of which build on the ideas of opinion evolution from the FG model. SCFV uses a column-based iteration combined with forest sampling, while SCFV plus uses a row-based iteration approach. SCFV provides unbiased estimates with less, vi less variance than our initial SCF algorithm, and SCFV plus goes a step further, reducing variance even more significantly than SCFV. Notably, SCFV plus achieves a relative error guarantee with high probability in ON time complexity. From the perspective of opinion evolution, the column-based iteration of SCFV simulates opinion propagation in the direction of the edge. Conversely, the row-based iteration of SCFV plus allows opinions to evolve in the opposite direction. The reason SCFV plus has a lower variance compared to SCFV is that the row-based iteration avoids the complex cross-product term found in the variance formulation of SCF. We conduct extensive experiments on various real-world networks, including both undirected graphs and directed graphs. Here are our data set used. For this data set, the number of nodes ranges from about 16,000 to 33 million as the number of edges ranges from about 25,000 to 301 million. We compared our three novel sampling algorithms, SCF, SCFV, and SCFV+, against well-established baselines in this field, namely the JLT and UST algorithms, which are considered as the state-of-art algorithms. The results from these experiments were highly, were highly encouraging. The experiment results show that our algorithms achieve better estimation accuracy and are more time efficient than the state-of-art algorithms. SCFV Plus achieves best result among our three sampling algorithms due to its minimized variance. Particularly, our algorithms are scalable to massive graphs with more than 20 million nodes in both directed and directed graphs. In conclusion, in this paper, we solved the problem of computing the diagonal force matrix in directed graphs. We introduced three algorithms, SCF, which extends Wilson's algorithm with a probability interpretation, SCFV, which reduces variance through matrix vector iteration inspired by the FG model, and the SCFV+, which further decreases variance with a novel iteration formula, ensuring high accuracy and maintaining efficiency. Each algorithm successfully reduces variance, providing more reliable results in linear time. Our experiment results have clearly demonstrated the superior performance of our algorithms. They not only provide better accuracy and efficiency compared to the exi existing methods in both undirect and direct graphs, but also show remarkable scalability. Looking ahead, we plan to further expand our algorithms to include sign graphs and temporal graphs open new avenues for research and applications in more complex network structures. That's all, thank you.